Hey guys, this is Sane here. Welcome to another episode of Titanfall. Today we're going to be taking a look at Last Titan Standing. Now I actually was, um, I joined in late during this game. That's why you're seeing this menu right here. It's just me spectating because I joined in late and I, my team actually ended up losing this first round. But that first clip that I showed you guys of me um, ripping apart and beating the shit up out of that Titan, I was actually accused of hacking out of that. Apparently I had killed him too fast or something. But check out that burn card right there. Titan Salvage. Now this what I get a shit ton of these in, um, in Titanfall. I get so many of these burn cards. So every time I get a, a big stack of them, four or five of them, I'll just jump into a Titan or last Titan standing lobby and I'll just burn through all of these cards. What this does, it gives you double XP. Well, I don't know if it's exactly double XP, but it gives you boosted XP for your um, killing titans, destroying titans, dooming titans, um, ripping titans off like you like to see me do a lot. Now, I did just do a titan review video. Or not a titan review, but a uh, my titan loadout video. In this video, you're going to be seeing me using a little bit different of a class. I think the only difference between this one is that I do not have the uh, multi-target rockets. I have this... Um, this volley of rockets. I don't know if that's exactly what it's called, but that's what it is. And this part right here is actually when he calls me a hacker. Me chasing him. Apparently, I just... No, 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 this isn't the part... Shit, I screwed up my own goddamn video. Son of a bitch. Alright, take a pause on that one. We're just gonna keep going like I never said that. Yep, this is a Strider. And this is actually the benefit of a Strider. Check this out. He is just completely dashing away from me. And since I'm the big ogre, he did, like, no damage to me practically. But he's able to get away from me because I can't... I'm the big old fat ogre. I can't keep up with him. But like I was saying, um, this class is a little bit different than my actual Titan class that I normally use. I don't have my... Um, my multi-target rockets, so it's a little bit harder, but as you can see, you can still dish out massive amounts of damage with this class. Uh, my personal favorite Titan by far is the Ogre. The Ogre is big, bulky, you'll see me just run in head first all the time on these guys. I just don't care because I'm like, you know what, I'm an Ogre. And plus I get my shield up. Uh, my extra shield boost and I'm just like I can take all kinds of damage this guy's been running away from me this whole round right now this little strider that's about the only thing the strider's good for running away but not me I'm a big old ogre I'm coming to get you man I'm coming to get your ass you think you can have what it takes to survive no but we actually end up pulling the win on this one uh, we lost the first round but that's just because I wasn't in it you know you know now that I'm in it we're doing good so, I just want to go over what my tips and tricks are, how to do good in the um, Last Titan Standing mode. It's really hard in Last Titan Standing because it really does depend a lot on your team. Uh, if you have a shitty team, it will end up in you losing. This isn't a Titan, or this isn't a game mode that you can just, you know, one-man army it. Uh, it's very easy for you to, to lose like this. See this pilot jumping on me right there? That's why I always use Electric Smoke because I can just burn his ass off of me. But look at that Strider, off in the distance. He thinks he's safe. <gasps> Not today with the last shot. I got him, he was the last kill. Strider, see, you can. You think you're good with the Strider. You think you can run away, but you can't run away forever because I'm at your back. I'm coming. Cool thing about this is during the last Titan standing, if you don't die during that each round, you can still keep your burn card. So I actually end up, uh, I believe I just used one burn card this whole time. I've just been using that burn card. Uh, and I don't think I died actually during this playthrough. I did lose my Titan a couple times, but you know, that's what happens when you're an ogre and you just run head first in the battle. Uh, a big tip that I would give for all the people trying to join in a uh, last Titan standing server is stick with your Titans. Stick with your teammates. 
uh, going two against one on a Titan, you're going to have a humongous advantage, and I guarantee you that both of you guys are going to come out victorious on this battle. And this is the part where I was accused for the hacker. Here he goes. Completely didn't see me coming. Snuck up on him with the ogre. He didn't think a big old fat ogre is going to come around, but oh yeah, check that out. See, this is the power of the 40 millimeter cannon right there. Just completely took his health out like a bow. So easy. And uh, <laughs> Raxon always says that I just he just sees me all the time ripping people out of their titans. It's super good, especially if you when you're the ogre, you can absorb all that damage. So you can just run up. Oh, there's the hack. There's the hack accusation. The hack accusation. But when you're in the ogre, you can always just blast them a whole bunch and run up real close because you know unless they have the um, the auto eject that's the only time you're not going to be able to get them uh, but if they have that auto eject then they're going to bounce out instantly but if you just run up look at me I'm not even trying to fight this guy right now I'm trying to re see he had the auto eject so immediately when I put him into doom state I don't like having the auto eject because I like to run up as fast as possible and eject out of it which I think I don't think it messes me up in this game, but it does. Uh, I like to run straight up there, just uh, not a care in the world, and try to blow as many people up with my my nuclear explosion. But look, I'm about to get attacked by a Titan, and I'm just too busy talking shit to this guy. But here we go with my shield core, and now I'm like, fuck this. I'm just going to run straight in. Ogre versus Ogre, but this guy has no shield, and I've got my extra shield. This is the power of the Titan. He goes Doom State, and I say, nah, you're getting ripped out today, boy. I'm pretty sure that there's some specters that were hitting me right there, so those specters would have actually probably taken me out. That's why you see me a lot during this gameplay. I'm actually going for the specters a lot because they can dish out massive amounts of damage, especially you. they can be the turn of a battle if you're 1v1 with another titan, if you just have a bunch of specters slamming you all all the time, running, uh, <laughs> running trains on you, so to say. But this game mode... Out of all the game modes, I would say it is not my favorite. Um, like I said, the only time I really play this game mode is when I'm trying to burn those Titan cards, the XP bonuses for getting the Titan kills. Titan Salvage, you can see it right there, the little orange ribbon right above my 40 millimeter cannon. So, you get that, you get a whole bunch of XP, easy peasy. But like I was saying, stick next to your allies. If you, This is one problem with the Strider, and this is what Raxon does a lot. He ends up going and just, because he's so much faster than the other Titans, he ends up pulling away from everyone else, so he's by himself. And then he'll either end up getting completely dominated because he'll get ganged up on because nobody else is around him, or he'll stay alive long enough to where all the other teammates die and then he is also just ganged up on completely. It's always best to stay with your teammates because you never know. Stay, sticking with them could let them survive and kill one of their teammates and can actually completely turn the tides of war for Titanfall. You know, it's uh, this game, with the last Titan standing, it's very team-oriented. A lot of people don't seem to want to play team oriented you'll see me coming around over here and I'm just I'm actually going by myself but I had tried you can't hear my mic in this gameplay because uh, I wasn't recording it but I was trying to talk to some of the guys to see if they would stick with me but I saw him coming up here so I figured I'd rush up with him because he's just an atlas atlas gets a uh, damage boost which is really good but it doesn't have as much health as the ogre it still has quite a bit compared to the, the strider the strider actually has um, the least health out of all of them but it's pretty ridiculous how little I'm at. I think he has 5,000 HP. Um, the Ogre has 10 or 12,000. And I think the Atlas has 8,000, I believe. I believe it does. So yeah, the here I go with my nuclear eject. Oh, I get a little damage, but now I'm going to take him out with my, my last little rocket right here. Boom. I actually jump on here. I was trying to just go ahead and doom him, but I actually end up getting the, his pilot to jump out. And he turned his back towards me, which was a dumb thing to do. I don't know why he did that. I killed him. I guess he was trying to kill the other pilot right there, but it didn't work out for him. So, basically, stick with your teammates. Try to follow them. If you're in the strider, don't rush up too fast. Or if you do rush up, make sure you have at least some titans following your back. Use the mics, guys. Use the mics. Talk to your teammates. If you're playing on PC and you don't have a mic, use chat. I personally, when, when Raxon and I play, I like to get my whole team to just charge at one 
at one certain area like on this map we'll all go to the right side or something like that that means most of the time the enemy team will split up so even if they have two or three titans paired together on one side if your entire team rushes them you're they're gonna get destroyed unless they're striders and they can run away but still three titans at the same time it's gonna be intense actually my whole other team this round or this whole game was atlases which i thought was actually pretty strange that every single one of them was just Atlas, except me for being an ogre. Um, for me, I think personally that the ogre is the best uh, class to be during Last Titan Standing. Uh, if you're playing Capture the Flag, the Strider can be very useful because you can just dash around the map and just get easy kills. Uh, pick up the flag and then just jump in your Titan, go dash really far. But I also do that same thing with the ogre. I just call in my ogre, grab the flag, and because I have so much HP, I can mosey my ass back to the other <laughs> to the other side of the map and capture the flag. Now here it is, you can see that one of the titans on our team was actually just off in the distance, and I was getting double teamed by a strider and uh, an atlas, I believe. So I don't know what he was doing, he was trying to just let me die, I guess. I kind of back off, hesitate, because I'm also getting shot at by a pilot up there. Try to take some pot shots out of alpha of Adam. Off at him. Blah, 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 blah. Look at this guy, just AFK. Just that, that's his. Oh, here's another thing. Actually, I'm glad I saw this because I, this really pisses me off. If you are playing Last Titan Standing, do not deploy an Auto Titan. Do not get out of your Titan because if you are still alive as a pilot, and um, it doesn't fucking matter, you will still lose the round if all Titans die. You can still your whole team could be alive, but if all the Titans die, then you're fucked. Okay guys, your auto titans are worthless. I have never been killed by an auto titan when it was me versus an auto titan. I've always been able to destroy it unless I'm just a pilot on the ground. Then the auto titans can snipe you and shit like that. But your auto titans are not good enough to go against actual players and titans. Do not get out of your titan. It's a dumb move. Uh, it's not going to help anyone on your team. It's just really going to hinder your team because it could have one extra Titan that's helping it out, but it doesn't. I do believe that I actually, uh, I think that I might actually take out this Titan, uh, or at least doom him with this, these rockets. I don't, I'm not for sure if I was able to take him out or not. He was just building up his, uh, his shield again right there. But yeah, stay away from the auto titans. Stick with your teammates. Stay in your auto titan unless it's doomed. If it's doomed, then jump out. Because then you actually have a chance to be able to jump on a, uh, a titan's back. Or like what I'm doing, I'm actually just shooting out rockets at the players. So I actually ended up getting the last kill right there. The last titan kill anyway. And ended up winning that round for my team. And that also won us the game. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And also subscribe for more videos like this one. It really does help us out a lot, guys. We are a new channel. Any growth, any shares, that's all very much appreciated. This is Saiyan signing out for Saiyan and Raxon. If you enjoyed the video, remember, share that shit. Be sure to check us out in the next one, and I'll see you there.